Hi folks, this is Kalani, bringing you a little bit of a different video. So, we're back on World of Warcraft, Mr. Pandaria. Now, I've noticed on my Professor Trainer location videos, or video, that quite a few people were struggling with tailoring in particular, but I also saw one or two with blacksmithing, man uh, leveling those past 575, and in particular getting them to 600 with the recipes they had. It seems you know they they are quite expensive so the ones you learn from the trainer do cost quite a few spirits of harmony each but there are a few which you may not know about now these are located in your pandaren capital inside the veil of eternal blossoms so for the horde shrine of two moons and in the little you know crafting area i guess You've got your tailoring supplies, blacksmithing supplies, and your leather working supplies. Now these actually sell the contenders. Now this is the craftable PvP gear. There's a small variance of when you can start using these 555, 565, 590, etc. But pretty much any recipe from here will take you to 600. So not only do these recipes not require a spirit of harmony to create, but most of their material requirements are quite low. The only thing which is going to be bother is that the recipe itself does cost a spirit of harmony. So we can see that on the tailoring supplies as well as the blacksmithing supplies. The leather working supplies I imagine is the exact same but I can't check that sadly as my leather worker is not on this server. I just thought that might be useful for anyone struggling to actually get to 600 before my um, profession leveling guides come out, which they will be there. So I'll be showing you a nice, quick, easy, and cheap, hopefully, method of leveling to 600 from 525. So to get here, you'll need to be at least 87 or have a warlock summon you. So you can do these at 85, the only problem is that you'll need a Spirit of Harmony to buy the recipe, which you can only get, obviously, from killing things in Pandaria. So you may be able to grind one relatively easily, but, you know, you can just get here at 87 yourself anyway. To get here at 87, you'll need to go over into Kung Lai Summit to the White Tiger Temple. You need to pick up the quest there, the Kill through all the Shah beings, etc, etc, finish off Varian or Garrosh, depending on your faction, and head over for the opening ceremony. After you've done that, you have full access to the Veil of Eternal Blossoms, and you can just happily run here. So, I hope that helped anybody struggling with, you know, that specific area of the trade skills. I know it can be a, a little bit of a nuisance. One of my friends had a bit of trouble with blacksmithing until... I told him about this little area. One last thing. While you're creating these, you might want to look at which one you're buying, check it on the auction house, and see what kind of profit margin you're making off it. Because if you do this with just the one recipe, you'll end up making quite a few of them. You need to make sure that, you know, you're going to break even, if not, make a bit of profit on the side from the materials you're using. So, as always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. So once again, the Snowden Drifts, this is where I come to farm iron, if I need iron. Won't be back here for a very long time, but that's okay. That's okay.